Philippians 4. By the grace of my Father, with the blessings of my brother, and as always, lots of help from the Holy Ghost, we bring you Philippians chapter 4, where Paul's going to tell the people, now be strong and unafraid and go into the world and bring glory to God. First one, therefore, my brethren, dear beloved, and I long for my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. Two, I beseech Iodius and beseech Synthachai they they be of the same mind in the Lord. Three, and I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. For rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. Five, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Six, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, which thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. You are a son of God, a daughter of God. You are in possession of the Holy Ghost. You have one or more of the gifts of the Holy Ghost. You understand how this works. What you ask for, ask for in prayer, ask for in knowledge and sight, uh, really helps to be specific, really does. Uh, otherwise things can kind of get out of hand. Seven, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Things are going to happen. You're not going to understand them. You're going to go, that's not possible. I... Keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Things are going to get strange. No, I shouldn't say strange. It'd be more interesting. Eight, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good rapport, if there be any virtue, And if there be any praise, think on these things. Honest, just, pure, lovely, good report, virtue. Think on these things. Nine, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Those things which ye have both learned and received, the teachings of Christ, the gifts of the Spirit, what you've heard, what you've seen, Paul, do those things, and the God of peace shall be with you. 
10, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me have flourished again, wherein you were also careful, but you lacked opportunity. 11, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. 12, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. 13, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. The things that are happening to us help us to grow stronger in our faith. If we hold God's hand going through it, or Christ, the Holy Ghost helps get us through it. 14, notwithstanding, you have, done, you have well done what you did communicate with my affliction. 15, now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. It's a little oasis of God. You're traveling around. You're looking for a place, and here they are. 16, for even in Thessalonica, you sent once and again unto my necessity. 17, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. The good things that you do, that's the fruit of the labor. Those good things abound to your account. All those little things, you know, we talk about karma and we talk about, okay, whatever you want to call it. You do something nice for somebody. You're building stock in where you're headed for. 18. But I have all and abound. I am full. Having received of Euphrodites the things which were sent from you, an odor of sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your need according to the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. 20, now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. 21, salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with me greet you. 22, all the saints salute you. Chiefly, they that are of Caesar's household. 23, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. You have the knowledge, you have the instructions. We are admonished to put this to work. What a thought, what a concept. And walk.